I'm Jared Ripplinger, a tax manager with Cook Martin Polson in our Logan office. The purpose of this video post is to acquaint you with some of the basics of gift tax laws, as well as to inform you of some opportunities that exist for making gifts during 2012. I think we all know what constitutes a gift, but did you know that there is a federal gift tax that applies to lifetime transfers of property? If you've never heard of the gift tax before, don't worry. The reason for that is probably because you've never made a gift for which the federal gift tax would apply. In general, there is a gift tax annual exclusion for outright gifts totaling up to $13,000 per donor per gift recipient during the course of the year. The gift recipient doesn't even need to be related to the donor in order for the $13,000 annual exclusion to apply. Aside from the annual exclusion, there are also certain gifts that are specifically exempt from gift tax. These gifts include tuition paid directly to the educational institution, medical expenses paid directly to the medical service provider, and gifts made to a spouse who is a U.S. citizen. It's important to be clear that in order to meet the exception for tuition and medical expenses, the expenses must be paid directly to the service provider not as a reimbursement to the individual incurring the expenses. Gifts in excess of or not qualifying for the 13,000 annual exclusion are called taxable gifts. Taxable gifts first use up your lifetime gift tax exemption before any gift tax is actually payable. For many years this lifetime gift exemption remained at one million dollars. But for 2012, this exemption is $5,120,000. If nothing is done to change the law as it now stands, the gift tax exemption will return to $1 million on January 1st of 2013. This presents us with some tremendous opportunity for transferring a great deal of assets in 2012 without incurring taxes on the transfers. It's important to note that there are some potential pitfalls associated with making large gifts in 2012, particularly with the effect that these gifts may have on future gifts or the impact that they may have on your estate down the road. Come in and talk with me or one of our other trained CPAs to discuss the opportunities and tax consequences of gifting in 2012. Also, please feel free to read my April 24th blog post for some additional details and considerations for estate planning in 2012.